Akash is going to be one of the biggest coins of the bull run. The reason I like Akash is because not many YouTubers are talking about it right now. In crypto, you make money by being ahead of narratives, not by buying them when everybody is talking about them. In today's video, I'm going to go over what Akash is, the tokenomics, and finally, a price prediction at the end. Also, nothing in this video is financial advice. So Akash is part of the Deep In sector, which stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure. It's a super cloud that lets users buy and sell compute resources. So with Akash, you can run your own cloud, sell unused cloud to others, buy cloud from other people and use it to run applications. So what Akash really is, is it's a marketplace that connects people who have spare computing power with those who need it to run their apps. They describe themselves as like an Airbnb. If people have underutilized computing power, they could just lease it to people to earn AKT tokens from companies that need that computing power. In this interview with Jesse Eckel, they talk about how a machine learning company utilizes Akash for their needs. So there is a real need for this service. A couple of more things you need to know about Akash before we get into the tokenomics. It's a layer one protocol built using the Cosmos SDK and it uses proof of stake, which means you can earn tokens for staking it. More on that in a bit. It's significantly cheaper to use Akash for computing power than it is to use things like Amazon's AWS. And because of that, I can see like a real product market fit. This is one of the few times in crypto where I've seen actual use case and utility for the world. And it's a big reason why I think this would gain real adoption. For the tokenomics, this is where things get really bullish because they used to be really bad, but now they've improved significantly. For the utility side of the token, if you want to buy cloud computing, you have to pay in AKT tokens, which is really good because it means there's a clear need for the token. You can pay things like USDC, but they charge a 20% fee in that too. It's also used for governance, securing the blockchain with proof of stake. And from the supply side, this is one thing that I really like. In the last bull run, it did kind of bad because of how high the inflation was. It was inflating around 4.5% every month. But over time, this inflation has come down. So this bull run, it won't have that same headwind. In fact, right now, the inflation is only at around 12.6%. But word of warning, if you hold AKT, you kind of have to stake it. Otherwise, you're going to get diluted by this inflation over here. And currently, the price is down around 50% from its previous all-time high. But if you actually look at the market cap, it's already breached its all-time high. So don't look at this and think we haven't even broken all-time highs yet. It's still kind of early. I'll get into what I think of Akash as a buy right now towards the end of the video. But I just wanted to make that point clear now. But another bullish thing that I did find was that all the private sale investors, all their tokens are fully vested now. So that's a really bullish thing to see. But the most important thing I always look at when I'm analyzing a project is how is the token economy actually going to work? The key thing is that I like to ask myself is, does the token directly benefit from increased adoption? Which is, as more people use Akash, does that make the token go up in price? And the answer for Akash is yes. The entire project doesn't work without this token. They recently revamped the tokenomics so that when people buy and sell cloud computing, they take a small fee. And some of that fee goes towards stakers. And some of that fee is used to buy AKT tokens and then burn them. So that basically means as more people use Akash and there's increased demand for cloud computing, the greater the revenue that Akash is going to get. And that means more fees being paid out to stakers and more tokens being burned. So just to summarize these tokenomics, when you consider the fact that there's no more VC investors left and the inflation rate is actually quite low now. And also it's got a real use case. So I would give these tokenomics an A. It's got a real utility and use case. No crazy supply here in the markets and no VC unlocks left. And most importantly, it benefits from network effects. So when I come across a project that I really like, I dig into it deeper, which means watching entire founder interviews, which by the way is a huge edge in researching. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up my overall thoughts on Akash now and what I think the potential is. So typically with the DPM projects to gain real adoption, they spend quite a few years bootstrapping at the start. And then once they build out that infrastructure, you can see them start to really succeed. With Akash, they've already kind of gone through all of that. They've been building since 2020. And I think in this bull run, they can capture this portion of the S-curve, which means we could have a good opportunity to get in and capture all of that. They also have a huge catalyst coming up very soon, which is incentives. They incentivize people to provide cloud, which means cloud providers get cheaper prices. And as we all know, low prices leads to higher demand. And the more supply of cloud that's available, the higher the potential revenue that Akash can earn. Remember that some of that 
revenue that they earned goes towards token burns and real yield for the stakers. Also, it means there's a flywheel running here where the more revenue they get, the more incentives they can provide, which means the cheaper prices, which means more demand. And that cycle can just continue repeating. Another important thing to note is, as the companies that use the cash gain more users, for example, if a social media company keeps gaining more users, a cash directly gets more revenue and business as that social media company is going to need more computing power as their user base grows. The founder also talks about how a cash makes more revenue than Ripple and Cardano, which is crazy to me. So I'm hoping now you can understand why this project is really quite incredible. In terms of fundamentals for this market cap range, I would give this an A which is the second highest tier. But the biggest risks are competitors like Render. I would typically say that there's a risk of not gaining adoption, which is the main risk of every crypto. But this actually does seem very likely to gain an option because of the utilization rates that they're already seeing, which is around 50%. For context, Filecoin has around 0.5 to 1%, which means it doesn't have the demand to fill the supply. And I'm also going to be researching the rest of the deep sector and give a final video on what I think are the best place for it, just like I did with gaming. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see what my final verdict is for the deep sector in 2024. The idea is I cover the entire deep sector and then intuitively I just know what the best play is. It's crazy that I'm going to be giving this away for free on here, so make sure you sub if you haven't already. And before I give you my price prediction, let me just show you what my plan is for 2024. I think in 2024, a lot of alts that people hyped in 2023 are going to be irrelevant and new projects or ones that have strong communities will stay relevant. That's why I'm going to be dedicating most of my time to building the ultimate portfolio and keeping an eye out for new and upcoming opportunities, both large and small caps. If you want to join a community of people who are also on this same mission and also see what coins I do end up picking for my main portfolio, then be sure to join my Discord. It's free right now, but I am going to lock it soon. So make sure you do join because this server is actually really active and the biggest mistake you can make is going through a bull run by yourself without having anyone to talk to. Anyways, back to Akash. Trying to go for 100 exes across your portfolio is the fastest way to get wrecked in my opinion. You need a balance between the solid projects like Akash and the DJ stuff. Another thing I'd like to say is, if a certain sector is getting too hot, it's possible to rotate your money to things like Akash which haven't had a lot of mainstream attention. If Akash can give us like a 30% pullback, I'd be very interested in adding out around $2. And my price target from there would be around $50. In the Discord, I'm setting up a watch list of tokens that I'm going to be planning on buying or considering buying. So if you want to see that, then be sure to join. Jesse Eccles' price prediction for Akash is like $150, which I think is really optimistic. For me, I think $50 is being quite conservative when you consider the fact that Total 3 hasn't really done much yet. And you also consider that money isn't too cheap right now because rates are high. For those of you who weren't around last cycle or forgot, what, we see, what we've seen in the last few weeks is nothing compared to what a full-blown true bull is. We're so for an incredible two years in my opinion. My channel and Discord are just journeys for the next two years more than anything. And the Discord will lock soon so make sure you get in before it does. The link is in the description. And to conclude this video, I would give an Akash an A.